assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to this channel so this is me alia waheed and in this channel so in this video we are going to discuss about the powders so uh, let's start the video so yeah, as you all of know that powders are the solid dosage form so they are in the form of solid and the second thing is that they can how they can be used so they can be used internally and they can be used externally okay so ye internally bhi hum isko use kar sakte hain aur hum isko externally bhi use kar sakte hain theek hai isme pure pure spelling nahi likh rahi hu then the next thing is that uh, what uh, what are in the form jo kis form mein hai so powders kis form mein hote hain ya kis dosage form mein so ye do uh, form mein present hai ek to ye crystalline form mein bhi hai they can be in the form of crystalline and uh, second thing is that they can be in the form of amorphous theek hai amorphous ki spelling aap khud dekh lijiyega theek hai so ye powders ke bare mein humne padha tha ab hum dekhte hain ki powders ke advantages kya kya hain acha yahan pe maine पाउडर्स के एडवांटेजेस को लिखा है कि पाउडर इसलिए ज़्यादा एडवांटेजेस है इसमें सबसे पहले दैट दे आर इजी टू स्वेलो फॉर द चिल्ड्रन दे कैन इजीली टेक द पाउडर्स अदर देन टैबलेट्स दे कैन नॉट स्वेलो द टैबलेट्स ऑफ कैप्सूल एंड ओल्ड पीपल्स आल्सो हैव टेक इट इजी टू स्वेलो देन द सेकेंड एडवांटेज इज पॉइंट इज दैट दे आर इकोनॉमिकल वेरी चीप इन नेचर एंड सेकेंड थिंग दे कैन इजिली बी प्रिपेयर सो देर इज नो नीड ऑफ वेरियस काइंड ऑफ स्पेशल मैकेनिज्म और स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्निक्स और नॉट स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ प्रेटेस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैम सो दे आर जस्ट इजिली टू प्रिपेयर थर्ड पॉइंट इज दैट दे आर मोर स्टेबल सो दे आर मोर स्टेबल दैन द लिक्विड प्रिपेशन सो लिक्विड प्रिपेशन आर यूर सिरप्स they are more benefit than them okay so so the next thing is that they can be given in the specific amount because if you want to give uh, the, uh, the powder in specific amount let's suppose you want to according to the patient need okay so patient need is to take only 30 grams of a particular powder so you will weigh that powder and give that patient okay so uh, this will not be possible in case of the liquid so therefore this is the benefit of this powder the next thing is that they have more dissolution because they have a very small size so the particles of drug have very small size so due to their small size they can easily be disintegrated or absorbed into our body and show more effective and rapid effect Sec and other thing is that they can be given in the large quantity that uh, the powders or the drug which is in the form of tablet is less than it is used in the form of powders and it's easy to carry okay so the liquids are very difficult to carry because there is a chance of breakage of them but in case of uh, powders there is no chance of breakage or there is no chance of loss of powder next thing is that after discussing their benefits now we are going to discuss their some disadvantages so here are some disadvantages of the powders first is the unplayable drugs that the drugs which are bitter in taste so the drugs which are in bitter taste they cannot be plateable they cannot be eatable so this is the disadvantage advantage of powders in case of tablets or capsule we coated them in order to mask the bitter taste of that drug but in case of powder we cannot mask the bitter taste we cannot coat the powder so this is the disadvantage of powder second disadvantage is that they are some drugs which are in the form of deliquescent or hygroscopic so the word deliquescent mean they can easily absorb the moisture and hygroscopic also mean they can easily absorb the moisture so as the powder are exposed to the our external environment so the uh, deliquescent uh, drugs cannot be given in the form of powder second is the volatile drugs so they can volatile easily so therefore they cannot also, cannot also be given in the form of powders 
last uh, some are the drugs which can easily deteriorate uh, after exposure to the atmosphere so therefore these drugs can also cannot also be given to it so now we are going to discuss about the method of preparation of powder so they are very easy to prepare first of all you have to take the raw material and your raw material will be in the form of crystalline substance so first of all you have to take this raw material and you have to weigh it so you have to weigh specific amount of it and after weighing it you have to what you have to uh, grind it in the pestle and mortar so you have to uh, uh, grind it grind that uh, crystalline substance in order to convert this it, it into uh, the powder like band and after the grinding the powder will be obtained then you have to pack it and then you have to uh, give it to the patient next uh, the other thing is that if the weight of material is came below 130 mg so if the weight of that substance is so if the weight of the that drug is less than 130 gram then after that you have to try to rate that you have to try to rate it the word titration mean to grind but in the presence of a inert diluent so in this case of the inert diluent will be a lactose so why we are using lactose because of three uh, benefits first it is colorless second thing is that it has it has more solubility it has very good soluble and third thing it is very good compatible it is good compatible so therefore we are using lactose we can also use inert diluent as sucrose okay but we are not using sucrose because of one reason because it can absorb moisture so it can it has the ability to absorb moisture so therefore we are not using um, uh, sucrose in the preparation of it we always use lactose for that purpose so after using uh, this uh, diluent you will add it then after that you will again grind, grind it to make it into the fine powders and after that you will be pack it in the, in the paper or in the wrapper and if your drug is in the volatile so you have to pack it double and uh, the inner packing layer will be uh, of waxy layer and then your uh, outer layer you will pack it and after that you will, it is ready to uh dispense so the last thing of this lecture is that we are going to see uh, in how many ways uh, our powder is classified so there are six uh, seven classification of powder so first uh, the powder is the simple powder then compound powder granular powder effervescent powder bulk powder powder which is enclosed in capsule and catches and the last is the compressed powder or the compressed powder is a powder in which tablet is titrated in order to get this powder okay so these are some types of powders so, so but in this lecture we are only going to discuss about the two powders which are uh, simple powder and compound powder so simple powder are the powder which are which is consist of only one ingredient so it contain only one ingredient so therefore it is called as simple powder okay and it is very easy to uh, prepare let's suppose we are going to discuss the preparation of this simple powder so in order to prepare it first of all you have to weigh that particular material let's suppose we are going to make aspirin powder okay so hum log kya banane ja rahe hain hum aspirin powder bana rahe hain and you have to weight it first of all you weight weigh 130 gram of aspirin okay after weighing it you will have to grind it and your powder will be easy to prepare then you pack it and easy to use okay next is the compound powder so compound powder is composed of two or more ingredients so two or two say more ingredients that powder ke andar to hoga hamare paas compound powder let's suppose main example de deti hu aapko compound powder ki ke ek aisa powder hai jiske andar aapke paas aspirin bhi hai okay so aapke paas aspirin bhi hai uske andar uske andar aapke paas paracetamol bhi hai 
और साथ ही साथ आपने कैफीन भी डालना है सो so नाउ अब आप लोग क्या करोगे कि वे करेंगे इन सब मटेरियल्स को लेट्स सपोज कि मैंने एस्प्रीन को वेट किया 130 ग्राम ठीक है 150 ग्राम मैंने पैरासिटामोल को वे किया और 50 ग्राम मैंने इनको वे किया सो वन थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर कि आपने जब वे करना है या आपने कोई भी पाउडर लेने हैं तो आपने इस वन uh, ग्राम से थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा लेंगे लेट्स सपोज कि आप वन ग्राम्स ले लेंगे इसको वन ग्राम्स ले लेंगे इसको आप लेट्स सपोज कि फिफ्टी ग्राम ले लेंगे इस तरह हम मैंने क्यों किया बिकॉज द सम अमाउंट ऑफ पाउडर विल स्टिक टू द स्पैचुला विल स्टिक टू द पेस्टल विल स्टिक टू द मोड्रा सो देर फॉर दे इज़ ए चांसेस के डैट द वे कैन नॉट बी एक्चुअली डन और एकोरेटली डन सो देर फॉर यू हैव टू टेक दम एक्स्ट्रा अमाउंट इन ऑर्डर टू स्किप एनी टाइप्स ऑफ मिस्टेक so after weighing it you will mix all of these ingredients and after that you uh, your preparation is ready to use and you can use that so this was uh, about the powders and we have discussed about their classification their types and how to make them so in the next lecture we will discuss other types of the powders which are granular powder effervescence powders and we also discuss their types and their preparations and some examples will also be discussed so this was all about the today's lecture i hope that you will like this video if you like it then please press the like button and also press the subscribe button in order to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon in order to get the notification of all the videos which i have uploaded so thank you so much for liking this channel I meet you soon in the next lecture till up allah peace